the last time but we've got all these done so that's the first four done hello welcome back to the channel now if you're new here uh, a couple of years ago you may remember we had some storms in the uk uh, well the storms themselves actually blew four or five panels off the roof of my garage so in the range of videos i'm doing on this one i'm trying to replace the roof on the garage when i have absolutely no idea of what i'm doing so this is going to be highly entertaining and it'll probably go very very wrong in the meantime though for those of you who have been on the channel before and seen some previous videos uh, you'll remember i've replaced some of the rotten parts at the ends of the joists that i found after the roof had blown off uh, with some extensions and some sister joints now by the looks of it i think they've moved there's a lot of ice and everything on the floor the floor is absolutely frozen at the moment i don't know if you can pick up on camera but that's ice Now, as you can see, that's the sister joint. Now, originally, when I first connected them all up, I've done, I think I've done four of them so far. Hopefully, you can, I hope you can see that one. Now, I think they've moved. Looking at that one there, it certainly looks as though the original joist dipping down a little bit behind it. If I can get it a little bit closer, you can see. So there's just a little bit of a, a lip there. So I think they've moved. Now, obviously it's got M12 bolts going through it with the square washers. There's also some serrated washers in between the sister joint and the, uh, and the original joist that's in there as well as the new extension I put on. Now these are the washers, as you can see, they've got some vicious teeth on them, they're really sharp. So how they work is they go on the bolt in between the sister joint and the wood the original joist so if you can see down there I don't know if you can see it down on that one that actually is it easy to show you from underneath no you're not going to be able to see those but uh, there's a couple of these actually sitting if I'll show you that one so there's a couple of these inside of there on both on all four bolts so crush this together and hold it but it looks like everything's moved unfortunately and I'm going to see if I can dig out some angle iron to make some additional supports for it. And my thoughts are, if I use some scrap steel, if I can dig out some angle iron, I could maybe make some additional supports to help with the garage. So I'm going to have a look through here, see if I can find any angle iron, any supports I can make angle iron out of a user's angle iron. So that makes some trusses for the roof of the garage. So, uh, oh, actually it's uh, currently minus two out here. So I'll dig through this. I'll come back to you when I see what I can find what I, that I've got in stock here. Right, so I found this lot so far, which might be, uh, I might be able to use that. Let me put a few bits together and let you see what your plan is. So the plan would be, hopefully you can see this, going from that end along there to here. And then obviously a support in the middle and then carry it on in that direction but make a truss or a bunch of trusses to go across the roof hopefully you can see that now this bit of angle line stuff i found i think they're about two or three millimeters thick so i should be strong enough to support it well as we're losing the light outside i decided to come back in get warm have a coffee and do some more research on making my own trusses up now I was going to use this steel down here to make my own trusses for the roof as you can see it's all pretty much shaped in half a truss when I worked it all out though I don't have enough steel kicking around that's the right size in order to make all the trusses up myself I'm going to take down the sister joints that I made and I'm going to reinforce the connection between the original joist and the new extension piece I put on and then I'm going to put the sister joints back in again to hold everything together what I'm using for the reinforcement is a bit of metal. I've folded up in the shape of a C or a U, or you could use U channel, but uh, obviously this being a garage that has, or this being a channel that has no budget whatsoever, I'm just having to scratch around for what I can find. And you can now I've already got the holes marked where I want to drill. I've got the marks on where I want to drill the holes, evenly spaced across the bottom of the panel, four of them in total. And then once we've done that, I'll be drilling in the sides here. But so the screws from this side don't meet the screws I'll put in from that side 
I'll put the holes on this side in different areas to what I will on that side. Now I know a lot of you like to see some drill action because there's nothing better than being uh, than getting something drilled. I'll just get this all set up ready to go. Set the marks up where I want the holes to be. first holes drilled. I also want another four holes on either side. So we'll mark those up where we need those to be. One there. One there. I'm going to put a mark here on top the same area as where I put those four marks and get this clamped up So hopefully you can see on camera there, we've got the four holes drilled on that side and then we've also got holes drilled on that side and we've also got the four holes drilled on that side as well. And then that's going to go like that obviously it'll be sitting over there and that should reinforce it stop it moving down over and then i'll put the sister panel back on and hopefully that's going to be strong enough to stop the joist bending now the garage roof itself doesn't have to support any weight it's just going to be a flat roof all i'm trying to prevent from happening is it creating a dip in the middle of the roof so that if it does when it does rain it doesn't create a puddle and uh, and cause further damage to the roof or the new roof when that's on well that's all marked up there so bit of reinforcement new channel once you've had to cut a little bit out just to make access for the bottom bolt and i'll uh, i'll cut that bit out there make access for that bolt but other than that that's how it should look and that's looking a lot more level than it was i know at the minute the wood doesn't line up at the top but not too concerned about that at the minute however that does look straighter than it was and that won't move especially when it's got the sister panel on it as well right let's get the rest of that cut and shaped and see if we can level everything up right so that's the first one done all i've done is i'll show you from the back there we go so i've taken a bit of u-channel screwed it in to the two bits of where of wood and then uh, that's connected from underneath and then we've got the sister joint back on as well and if we stand back a bit further that now seems to be perfectly level all right well that's the first one done so i've only got what the other four that i did uh, without the metal support on them to redo and then i can go on with the rest of the joists and then hopefully we'll be somewhere closer to putting a roof on that's not sketchy at all, is it? An old trolley jack and a scaffold pole holding a joist up that's holding all the roof together and then comes to an end abruptly 
So now that metal supports in, and that metal supports in, I need to do this one, which as you can see has a bit missing, because I've taken it off so I can get the metal support on. So we'll get that done, and then there's literally only that one to take apart, put metal support in. Right, there we go guys, that's all four joints done. So the metal support on that one, and that's perfectly straight. Metal support on that one. Metal support on that one. The final one I've done, some metal support there. So as you can see, all four joists are now sitting perfectly level. And we need to find a way for something to use to fill those gaps. So I can bring the top of that wall level to the top of the joists. And then when that bit's done, we'll actually start on this end piece here. Start taking that apart and seeing how rotten that is. Obviously you can see it is a bit rotten in the corner there. But it really doesn't look too bad. For there being no money involved, it was all stuff I had lying around. So when you've got no budget to play with and no spare money, make do with what you've got. So I think that's come out quite well. But for now though, I'll leave that there. And uh, those are the bits that will be another video in the series. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you stayed all the way through, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And also please don't forget to subscribe. It really does help the channel and support me a lot. Makes uh, gives YouTube the ability to push my videos out further and get more people to see them. So more people can have a laugh at this idiot that has no idea what he's doing. We're putting a roof on, but he's having a go. And that's all you can do guys. Have a go. You never know. It might work. If it doesn't, you can always try it again. Thanks for watching again. See you next time. Bye for now.